Tox Tracker is an innovative stem cell based reporter assay. It can rapidly and reliably identify genotoxic and other cancer associated properties of pharmaceuticals and other chemical compounds. Tox Tracker ACE is an extended version of the Tox Tracker assay that includes cell cycle analysis for antigen versus clastogen evaluation. For every Tox Tracker and Tox Tracker ACE test, first, a broad cytotoxicity dose range finding is performed. On day one, wild type stem cells are seeded in 96 or 384 well plates. On the second day, the test materials are dissolved in DMSO or water. Then the stem cells are exposed to 20 consecutive dilutions, typically in twofold steps, in absence and presence of an S9 metabolizing system. After a 24 hour exposure, cell viability is determined using relative cell count in treated and untreated cultures. The dosis that induces 50 to 60% cytotoxicity is selected as top concentration for Tox Tracker or Tox Tracker ACE. The lowest test concentration is generally not cytotoxic. This initial experiment also provides information on solubility and autofluorescence of the compound. Next, the compounds are tested in the six Tox Tracker reporter cell lines for induction of DNA damage, P53 activation, oxidative stress, and protein damage. In Tox Tracker ACE, an extensive cell cycle and polyploidy analysis is included. The reporter cells are exposed to five compound concentrations with or without S9. After 24 hours of exposure, induction of the different GFP reporters and relative cell viability is measured using any high throughput flow cytometer, for instance the Max Quant X flow cytometer by Milteni Biotech. In Tox Tracker ACE, cell cycle analysis and polyploidy detection is performed after 4 hours and 24 hours exposure, in addition to the reporter analysis. With the help of our ToxPlot software, we can determine the differential activation of the Tox Tracker reporters. This provides detailed insight into the mode of action of the compounds. The cell cycle and polyploidy information in Tox Tracker ACE can be used to further discriminate between a clastogenic or anugenic mechanism of genotoxicity. Finally, the results are summarized in a comprehensive report. The report is always discussed with the sponsor to support data interpretation and further exploration of the mode of action of compounds.